Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Official home base team over the arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000 plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC lineup. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night in a fantastic arena. T Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Rodriguez going for the head kick. No dice. Oh, straight right. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Oh, big left hook there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. And that one cut him open. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, he's got him hurt here. And there comes the separation now. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Look at him drive his chin into his own body with that body kick. You never know where it's coming from. You don't know if he's going to do a cartwheel, try to kick you. You never know what's happening from Yaya Rodriguez. Nice punch. Just misses there with the left. Right at the elbow. Body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just misses with the punch by Yair Rodriguez. In fight numbers for you now, 29 total strikes have landed for Yair Rodriguez. And he landed the right hand there. Rodriguez gets hit with that elbow. You don't want to take too many more of those. Over and over, he landed this big body kick. Big, powerful punch man. Now he's getting back to range. Oh, head kick blocked by Yair Rodriguez. Look at the angle of that nice body. Wow. Oh, clean, tight combination there. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head straight. Second round here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just missed with the left there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Chop in the wood. Chop oh. the wood with his leg kick. He's got him hurt here. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Man, 
great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. Let's see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Nice work here off the bottom as he delivers a nice elbow. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's gonna attack armbar here. And he's out. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Fifteen seconds. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee.